Greetings, boys and girls. My name is Aaron M. Kane. Today, we're in search of aluminum. In today's video, I'll show you three locations to find items to scrap for aluminum, and another three places to mine aluminum ore, and then we'll touch on workshops at the end. Now that you know what we're doing, let's get started. While farming aluminum-based items isn't the most efficient, sometimes you need to scrap items for a daily or something like that. An aluminum farming video would only be complete with the stop at Pleasant Valley Ski Resort and the top of the world. So let's start there. Pleasant Valley Ski Resort is located just next to the top of the world, right here. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. All right, here we are at the Pleasant Valley Ski Resort, and I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I can because it's kind of a long run. Um, so try to keep up. So here is our first ski rack. I'm gonna grab one and two and we'll head over this way and this ski rack has another one two the third one go three and we're gonna head down this way we've got one two three four Back here, we've got another one on this ski rack. It's kind of hidden in the bushes. That makes 10. We'll come back up these stairs, and we'll have two ski racks here. It's 11, 12, 13, and 14. We're gonna head up these stairs. So we've got 15, 16, 18 and 17 on top, and then 18 on this other rack. Then turning towards the main clubhouse, I'll make 19 and 20. We'll head in the building. Now keep in mind, you're going to be fighting a lot of scorched along the way. This is 21 on the floor. And then we'll head in here. And we're going to go down to the trading post area. And there's an office back here. Which will have 22, 23. And back in the trading post, we have 24, 25, 26. And we'll head back up the stairs. And then out the door over here. And we're going to head towards the bungalows back here. And there's kind of a common area that we're going to hit first. And then on the floor next to this rack will be 27. And then 28 next to that rack. And then 29 will be over here on the floor next to the Kenbach. So now we're going to head to our northeast towards the end of the bungalows. The bungalows themselves right here don't have anything going on in there. Gonna keep curling around to the back side of the building. Gonna go through this break in the wall and then this break in the wall. And then we have three houses here. We're gonna head towards the center house. And then on the porch on top of the gurney is another one. I've lost count now. Okay, we've got the counter up in the uh, up in the corner, so we'll be alright. Here, this is Brody's room. You, I think you need to have completed a quest to get in here. That might be just a lock. I don't remember anymore. So there's two more there. And we're going to head down these stairs. And then out into this little marketplace looking area. We're going to pass all the way through this towards the top of the world. And at the end of this thing here, we'll kind of head off the beaten path and towards this stone area and then keep heading up and then right here it's one two three and a fourth one right there and if we turn back around there is another rack that's got one on the ground so then we're going to head back this direction to the west. 
And then once you get to here, we're going to drop off the side. Now be careful, there are explosives in here. So I think if you stick close to this side, you'll be all right. And what we're looking for is this rack right here. And be careful, there's uh, also ticks that can jump in here. So we'll grab that one. We'll head back to the southeast. And then on this rack here, there's another ski pole. And then we'll head to the second line of sandbags. And then near that rack, there's another ski pole. We'll come down here. And then on the ground next to this rack, we've got another one. So I head back up to the end of the sandbags and then right over here. There's where'd the other one go? There it is up on top of the rack. And then one there, and then one at the end on the ground. And then we're going to head back towards the center area here. And then this should be 46, 47, and then on top of the rack is 48. That's, so that's 48 ski poles, which equals uh, 96. 96 aluminum. That is a good run. And we can do this fast and you're only fighting scorched, so it's not too difficult. So our next location is smaller, but it's significantly easier as all the aluminum is all in one place with no wandering around. We're heading to Tiger Water Treatment and you'll find that south of Helvetia. So Helvetia is right here and then Tiger Water Treatment right there. So from the spawn point, we're gonna turn to the east, keeping the plant on our right hand side and we'll kind of give it a wide berth. We don't want to really aggro the uh, liberators in there. So we're going to keep this riverbed on our right. And then once we're far enough past the plant, then we can cross it and head to the road. And you'll see on the road there is a smashed semi truck. And what we want is on the back of it. So you notice there are 10 ski poles. There's one, two, get in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that one was super easy. Uh, 10 ski poles right here, that's 20 aluminum. Uh, that is a quick run. Now our last aluminum scrap item location has a bit of a trick to it, uh, making it one of the best locations in the game for aluminum. We're going to Harper's Ferry. It's on the east side of the map. We'll take the Borough South Waypoint to give us kind of the best starting spot. It's right here, Harper's Ferry there, Borough South. Here we are at the Borough South, and where we're heading is to that armory building right there. And if we go straight ahead, on the side of the building, you'll see these little air condensers and inside they've got coolant caps. The coolant caps scrap down into two aluminum each. So we're going to grab that and then we're going to make our way around to the other side. I might suggest that this not be for anybody without marsupial, um, even though it is possible to get into here without marsupial. There's a hole right here that you can hop up onto without having marsupial, marsupial or anything like that to make it over the fence and then you can hop on the car to get back out. Um, the problem is some of these coolant caps and air condensers are hard to reach without marsupial. Um, so here's the second one and third, there's four, five, Six, seven, eight, this one on the floor, that's nine. This one, you might be able to jump and get it. Ten. So also be aware that inside the building there are turrets that are not friendly to you. Um, so just be aware of those. There are a couple that that will be able to shoot at you for sure. Uh, so then if you don't have marsupial, just hop over the car and then over the fence. And we're gonna head around to the back side of the building. And one 
in there. Ooh, that's 11, 12, 13. Fifteen and sixteen. So there are sixteen conden er, air condensers with sixteen coolant caps in them. So that's a total of thirty-two aluminum. The best part of this spot is that you can server hop, and the coolant caps will respawn. So while the thirty-two aluminum that you get here isn't really that unique, the fact that you can run it repeatedly is all without having to do the great reset. If you're unaware. The Great Reset is the concept that you can respawn any items by collecting 255 other things. I created a video explaining it and I'll link it up in the corner if you're interested. That covers aluminum scrap items. Let's talk about mining aluminum ore, which is probably more valuable, although less so since the nerf to excavator power armor. I hope that'll be a bug that gets fixed and not a nerf. Regardless, you're going to want to equip your excavator power armor. It'll increase the yield by three every time we harvest an aluminum node. I'm working on a guide right now to show you how to acquire your excavator power armor if you hadn't gotten it yet. I'll link to that in the upper right hand corner as well. I've got three locations lined up to produce a large amount of aluminum ore. The first spot is the abandoned mine shaft one. It's in the far southwest corner of the map, right there. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. All right. Here we are at Abandoned Mineshaft 1, and we want to go ahead and get our excavator power armor on. So once we're suited up, we're going to head over here to our left, and then just drop off this ledge, and then right here you'll see we've got one, two, three, and four aluminum veins. Now we're going to head back around the way we came. If you've got jetpack and marsupial, you can just kind of make your way back up to where those stairs are. And then we're going to turn off to our right at the top of the stairs. And be careful not to fall in that pit. That's uh, no bueno. And around this corner, we've got aluminum veins. These ones are a little persnickety. They <laughs> they're sometimes hard to loot. There's two, three, four. And this one you kind of have a, you get it. Five and six. And then we're going to head back around this way towards the south and we'll just kind of curl around and just kind of jump up there when you can. And now we're going to head to the northeast. And what we're looking for is a square rock. That one right there, as a matter of fact. And here we'll have one, two, three, and four more veins. So that's going to do it for the abandoned mineshaft run one. Uh, next, we're going to head to the Big Bend Tunnel West. It's just to our east of where we're at right now. See it right there. we got Lewisburg right there as a landmark. Let's go ahead and fast travel there. So from here, we're just going to head straight forward. And we're going to, you'll see the doors right there. This is the entrance to the mine shaft. Here we are at the entrance to the Big Bend Tunnel West. And we're basically just going to follow this nice linear path all the way to our destination. Or mostly all the way. Um, along the way, you'll run into some mongrels, um, but nothing more difficult than that. Maybe some mole men. Uh, once you get into this area, we're going to head off into the right. And you'll see that the mine shaft continues this way. And we're going to follow it around. You will fight mole miners here, that's for sure. As you get to this kind of junction, we're going to go off to our left and let's get our light on. And we'll have one, two aluminum veins. I think that's all there is in this spot. And then we'll head off following the path. And we'll have three. 
three and four. And if we go this way, there's a, another little alcove. There's five, six, seven. And then turn around and head past the uh, crane there. And we have eight, nine, and then further down the shaft at the end. There's ten. And this last one, sometimes difficult. There we go. And that is 11. So a total of 11 veins for this area and all you're fighting is some mongrels and some old men. Uh, not too difficult. So our next location is also nearby. We're gonna head right here to the Garahan Estate. So here we are outside the Garahan Estate. What we're going to do is just turn right around and head towards that square rock. And you can already see that there's uh, aluminum veins here. It's one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to drop down right here. Six, seven, and around the side. Eight, nine. Now we're just going to head right back up towards the estate. And we want to keep this wall on our right hand side. And then right when we get to this break in the wall, you'll see a path that kind of leads off. We're going to follow this. And then right in here, there is number 10 and number 11. So that'll do it for the mining of aluminum ore. As I mentioned earlier, hopefully the nerf to excavator power armor is a bug and it gets fixed. Um, it makes aluminum mining much less viable. The only good news is that it makes all the other methods for gaining aluminum more viable. That leads us to aluminum extractors in your camps and workshops. There's several workshops that have aluminum deposits. Charleston Landfill, the Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm, Tyler County Dirt Track, the Converted Munitions Factory, Berkeley Springs West, and finally the Big Daddy is Red Rocket Mega Stop. Red Rocket's got a total of three aluminum extractors or aluminum deposits, whereas all the other workshops only have one. I'm working on a video right now detailing camp locations around the Appalachia that contain aluminum deposits. I'll post a link here in the corner when it's completed. Aluminum extractors pull in one aluminum every three minutes and have a maximum capacity of 14 aluminum ore. So to maximize the usage of your extractors, you need to return to empty the extractors every 45 minutes or so. Also, to be clear, these are mining aluminum ore and not scrap. So you'll need to smelt it down at a chemistry bench at the cost of two acids and three aluminum ore to produce two aluminum scrap. The final yield for all three extractors is 28 aluminum scrap in 45 minutes. That's not amazing, but if you're going to be on the server for a long time, it's a nice bonus. If you need acid to smelt down all the aluminum ore you've acquired, click on the video beside me and it'll show you how to get tons of it. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.